started designing in the 60s and um, I think it was the most influential time in, in our history, in my history anyway, and uh, the 60s were about everything being new, nothing being a repeat of anything else, everything was fresh from music to film, fashion certainly was a perfect example of when did you ever see a mini skirt before you didn't? Or when did you ever see makeup and colors like that before you didn't? Hair, everything was so new, color in hair. Um, and I think the influence of that time is still with us and nothing newer has happened since. Well, the 70s were, let's be noticed, how shiny, how sparkly. I mean, if you wanted to get into Studio 54, you had to stand out from everyone else, and that seemed to be a goal for a lot of people. And in an odd way, that influenced fashion, um, maybe not as directly, but it was part of that time. A neckline could be lower than it ever was, the back could be lower, sleeveless, no top, top bra, absolutely, why would you do that? So everything was totally free, and I think that represented that time. It was interesting creatively, um, because you could do anything, um, but it also had an edge that was uh, could go a little too far, um, and then it obviously did. beginning of the 80s just told us everything went too far. Our friends were dying, you know, I mean, the clothes had to change. Everything had to, we had to become more practical. We had to be healthier. We had to look at ourselves in a, in a completely different way, and that changed fashion. I mean, it changed fashion dramatically. When we think about fitness, that's the beginning of the 80s really represented a sense of that. <laughs> If I'm going to compete in your world, I don't want you looking at my breasts. If I'm going to compete in your world, let's not talk about my legs. Let's talk about the issue at hand. So we had to dress more like men. We presented ourselves in a completely different way, in a much more aggressive way, uh, in, in every part of our lives, and the suit you know, was like so significant. But if you had a sense of fashion about you and a sense of style, you didn't really want to look like a man. You didn't want that. So uh, sculpted kind of suit shapes um, developed and then suits just went crazy. I guess I'm kind of a little responsible for some of that. I think using shoulder pads really started for me looking at the suit business and when what was happening as a woman wanting to wear a suit in in business situations and it wasn't difficult to sell it I mean it was just so accepted so quickly that women were stacking shoulder pads on top of shoulder pads and I don't know why that happened but it did so I I, I really believe when you think about fashion fashion just is telling a story about a time and that's what that series of clothing I did it told a story about what was happening for women in in the world we were living in well I think the 90s um, tried to clean out things tried to eliminate um, unnecessary tried to be smarter tried to be more intellectual, tried to understand women um, with a different kind of purity, which I, I thought was really nice and I enjoyed being designing in that mode too. Of course, t-shirt and jeans. Um, baseball caps, I'm a big baseball fan, so I have to say that. But I think a baseball cap is a true part of American fashion. Sneakers, definitely. Anything that every member of your family can wear that 
is comfortable to us seems to be real American fashion. 